film for me was about obsession and it also it was a kind of gothic nightmare, much more about the other woman, that this man cavalierly embarks on a night of fun with this woman he doesn't know anything about and then assumes that she's simply going to fade away and play the game, as he puts it. So what about mm. the killing in the end? Was that in your 79 version? No. No, that 79 version ended at the first weekend. Well, it, it wound up, unfortunately, in the commercial version, looking like a witch hunt. It changes the emphasis of the piece, yes, but I, I never intended it to be this, this, this parable about this ideal family, and I don't think it was necessarily even made that way. It's just that certain groups have seized upon it from either side of the divide, whether it's the feminists who attack it for trashing career women, which it doesn't do. The fact that she has a job in New York City, it would be very strange if she didn't have a job in New York City. Well, it's yes, that she's the wife doesn't have a job well, in New York City. But that strange. wasn't the conscious decision. We'll make sure she doesn't have a job. You know, she's the <laughs> old kind of woman. It was just uh -huh. she had a young child. She was about to have a. They were thinking about having another child. Actually, in an earlier draft, she was about to go back to her job as a teacher. F I don't even know why, because writers aren't involved right up to the last minute. That was dropped. It wasn't dropped to some kind of sinister conspiracy to but make her this goody two shoes wife who t keeps the home fires burning and is all, you know, lovey dovey when, when hubby comes home. Well, it's just that these old But people read it like that, just as the, the so called moral majority or whatever it is. The society in which it's seen as maybe that a lot if of women want deserve to, to be slashed. No, what I, if I can just say about this.